Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Nuzlocke. Um, Deltor 9 is level 8 and he still hasn't learned any attack moves. So, I'm moving on with my life. Um, because <laughs> I don't want to wait around forever for a Pokemon that doesn't even know how to have an attack yet. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna go ahead and move on. Fight. We're gonna go into the Cerulean Tunnel. Um, don't have any escape ropes. <sighs> Dang it. Oops. I'm gonna have to run back and get some escape ropes. so annoying. First, let's talk to these guys. Okay, I said six Pokeballs. You can only have six Pokemon. Don't know who made the arbitrary rule. Team Rocket Attacks, blah, blah, blah. Oh, is that, oh, that's supposed to be a newspaper. Sometimes you have too many Pokemon. I wonder if they're like, yeah, I guess at this point there might be, there's, I think at this point there's, oh, really? A Magikarp for 500? Nah. Huh. Where am I? This is route four, three, four. Yeah. I'm gonna look at a map real quick because town map route four, Mount Moon, route four. Okay, never mind. Um. Oh, that's all, that's all Route 4. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not. Well, uh, what I was thinking was... Because... If this is the only area Route 4 is, then I would buy the Magikarp. Um, and that would count as my Route 4 Pokemon, because it would technically be the first Pokemon I encountered. But... Um... I'm not gonna do that, because... I'm not a horrible person. Um... I need to get the escape rope slash repel. I'll be right back. Alright, got the things. Um, so now we're gonna go into Mount Moon and pray hardcore that we're not about to run into a Zubat. Uh, holding my breath. Wild Pokemon? Did are they all dead? Jew dude. Cool, level eight. That I can work with. Del Tor. Join the party. Dang it, Del Tor. You suck. Ow. Del Tor, do something useful. Deltor! Beer Deltor! Go, Pokeball! Uh, are all those who are yelling at me right now? I know. Weaken them first. I get it. But sleeping, clearly, good enough. Dude, that's freaking awesome. And then I can go ahead and give him Rock Tomb. Its round form makes it easy to pick up. Its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them to hurl each other, to hurl at each other in a snowball fight. These children are horrible. They're throwing rock Pokemon at each other in a snowball fight. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, I in in. Anil, Anil, nah. Anilt, 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 nah. In, ink, Incorn, in, Incorn, Incorn, Incorny.
in, in corny. I guess. In corny! Welcome to the team. Already? He's better than Deltor 9. Let's take a look. Party nature. I think that's a good nature for a Jew, dude. Um. Yeah. Low speed, but he doesn't really have any of that anyway. Attack, defense. Cool. Welcome to Corny. Come on, dang it. Gosh dang it. Come on. Do it. Kill the Zubat. Man, you know, I was originally saying how horrible it was. This Nuzlocke was going, but I got a Pikachu instead of a Bug Pokemon. I got a... Let's see. Yeah, I would have had to have gotten a Jigglypuff out of that area, because there's nothing else. Oh, I could have gotten a Spearow. Um, out of that other area. Um. But I've gotten kind of rare... As I was saying... I've gotten kind of rare finds, um, and okay, hopefully, you barely saw anything there. There's a weird thing going on where the thing was, like, clicking without me wanting it to. Kept starting and stopping capture, um, anyway, I've been getting kind of decent finds, like, instead of getting a Zubat here, I got Corny the Jew dude who I forgot to give the TM to for a rock tomb, which I'll give to him right after this battle, which would have been handy because it's a bug type. Um, but you know, as bad as this Nuzlocke started off, we're not in too bad of a way right now, and I count ourselves lucky for that. Um, this is going to take a while, because uh, he's definitely not going to be able to kill me with his bug Pokemon. Because, I don't, did I do a rant? A rant, I, I don't like bug Pokemon because they're useless. Um, they're weak. I mean, look at this, right? This Kakuna, oh crap, this is, he's going to actually stall me out. This is such idiotacy, I hate it. Uh, flump, come on. There. Alright, and then I'm going to have to leave because he poisoned in corny who apparently leveled up why is jigglypuff kind of difficult to level up huh that's weird i feel like jigglypuff should not be difficult to level up Dude, i almost have a full team guys i don't want to jinx it but i almost have a full team i'm pretty excited about that hopefully this doesn't take too long for me to get through here, um, I'm gonna try, and most of this is gonna be in fast forward. Um, dang it, I forgot to do it again. I feel like, oh come on. Um, I feel like. I feel like I should cut out a lot of this. Screw you, Clefairy. Deltor can finally attack. Trust me, you don't want to hear the demonic music that is this game at 600% speed. You just don't. Also, by the way, I don't know if you guys are like me in this, but I'm kind of a completionist. Not super strong completionist, but I don't like to miss things. Like, do I need to complete every little thing or whatever? Nah. But I do like, um, I don't like to miss out on things. So I'll go out of my way and I'll like, I'm going to hit, get every single Pokeball out of this and stuff like that and I understand it's not necessary but it's something I enjoy doing because it's fun uh... 
You know, I feel like this is one of those points in the game where there's not much I can do that makes this into a good video. Um, it just kind of is. It's a good time. I get hocked up on caffeine, and then I play a game, and then I edit, which is interesting to me, and then I uh, send it out, you know? You know, I was just thinking, I just picked up a rare candy a little bit ago. What the heck? Rare candies are not good unless you have a lot of them. Like, oh, one level? Like, what's the big deal with one level? You know? And it's... They're considered such a valuable thing, but... It's like, oh, here, you can... I don't know, make your useless... Like, the only thing I can use, think of it is, like, if I end up having to catch a Magikarp at some point, I'll probably use that at, like, level, like, 19. To just go ahead and skip having to push up that extra level, I guess. That's the only thing. Also, Deltor is low on life, and he's leveled up. Um, oh, that may not have been a smart move. We're weak against each other. Die! And Corny is stronger than his enemies. Um... But I mean, like, I mean, that's the only reason I would use it, is in a situation where it's, you know, useful. Like, I wouldn't feel like, oh, it's kind of a waste, because it's, I mean, I'm going to level them up anyway. And it's like, you're supposed to enjoy the battle. And... Oh, come on. Okay, so here's the deal. I love the fact that I got a Geodude, and that... It's a handy thing, but if you don't have any special attacks, it is a freaking hassle to fight them. Team Rocket! <gasps> Guys! It's Team Rocket! Team Rocket is on the field! We are fighting Team Rocket! So this is the first time that you run into Team Rocket. I mean, you've heard stuff about them. You know, everyone's like, hey, just let me know, Team Rocket, they're bad guys. Been around, causing some problems. This guy literally lowered my thing to where I am not gonna be able to hit it for Jack anymore. So we're gonna switch to Dang it. Dang it's got this. Dang it. Come on, Dang it. Unfortunately, he also defense curls, which means with the lower accuracy, I'm also trying to hit a buttery target. You know. There we go. Dang it, level 16. Cool. I just, I kind of want to just get out of this cave, just because I know it's not very interesting. Um, but yeah, this is the first time you run into Team Rocket, which is kind of cool. Um, kind of creepy. The first time you run into one is in the middle of a dark cave in the middle of nowhere. Um, maybe that's supposed to be like, you're supposed to be like, okay, clearly these guys are shady as because the, the first time you see them, they're hiding in a cave doing some research and they just randomly attack a small child. Now, when I first got in this cave, I was looking for Pokemon, so it took forever. But the encounter rate in this cave is too high. It's like being in the middle of... Did I fit? Okay, I thought it was great. Um, it's like being in the middle of, like, tall grass 24-7. Which I understand the theory is, oh, you're being attacked by Pokemon in a cave, and there's no way really out. Get it. I understand that's what's going on here, and I understand that you're supposed to feel, you know, overwhelmed. Because it's going to be a grueling task to get through this cave, and it, they even built up to it. With a guy in front of this cave being like, dude, freaking, you don't even want to know, that cave is horrible. It's like, yeah, I get it. It's not. It's designed to be difficult. It's not designed to be impossible. By the way, this is the worst rocket guard in the entire game. 
because an entire cave, a whole room, only one way in, and he guards this Pokeball in such a way that you can just get it. Like, you don't have to fight him. I will, because it's good experience and money. Which, I'll admit, I'm kind of low on monies right now. Okay, this is when you first realize... Um... Rockets? Not so competent. Because the first thing they do is, like, run around and they're like, Hey! Hey! You're not allowed to be here. We're doing a thing. Too bad, you leech life? Okay. I'm just hoping... He doesn't. Okay, he's supersonic. Okay, that same difference. I was gonna use disable, so I didn't have to worry about it anymore. Oh snap! Scary. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so. Okay, we're back. I don't even know if you saw that or not. That was terrifying. Everything just went chaotic. Um. Switching out. Deltor can't be switched out. Okay. It's not good. Okay. Okay. We're gonna be okay. Deltor made it through. Deltor is alive. Yeah, no, nah, she's not very good. She does help. Yeah, she does have a lot of health. But she has so little defense, it's not like a really... She has nine defense. Nine. She got zero on that last level up. Uh, let's just let Flump, Flump stretch his arms a little bit. Because Flump doesn't get a lot of on-screen time because he's high enough level that he's not at the front of my party and he's strong but he's he's also necessary for me to win gym so I have to level him off off screen so poor Flump does all the heavy lifting for the team and doesn't get much screen time for it Moonstone I think that's the only way to level up Jigglypuff um, I mean, evolve, Jigglypuff. Um, so there is one of the revives. I totally will not use it. Um, but yeah, so Flump does a lot of the heavy lifting on the team, but he doesn't get a lot of screen time. I don't know. Oh, I totally have forgotten what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so, that's one of the revives in the game. Um, it's up to you guys. Um, also, if you want me to revive them, like, if you make that obvious, I will also let you guys choose who I get to bring back. Um, so if it's like, you guys are like, Oh, we really want Kynodor back. And I'm like, guys, I have five bird Pokemon and I'm on, they're all like level 50. You guys say you want Kynodor back because you love him. I will... I'll put him on the team. Um, yeah, I'll put him on the team. And that also means I'll level him up. So if you guys choose to revive someone, please also specify whether you want him just alive as a backup or if you want him on the team. Because if you say, hey, we really want Carney back and I Carnador back, I'll freaking go through all the hassle and level them all the way up and get him on the team. Um, no matter how long that takes. Because, I mean, as much as this is my run through of a Nuzlocke, it's your guys' too. You know, this isn't just me playing a game. I don't want to play this game by myself. Let's go. I've lost to this guy before. 
I found these fossils are both mine! Oh, I should have healed up dang it first. Oh, wow. Maybe I'm a little over leveled. Or I was under leveled last time. Oh, you can't poison me because I'm already paralyzed! But, I've actually lost this guy before. I think it's this last Pokemon he's got. Oh, it's just a Voltorb. That's easy. Oh, please don't self-destruct on me. You know what? And Corny can take it anyway. I'm not that concerned. We'll just magnitude this dude. Are you... I'm really surprised. I thought... I remember this guy being a lot harder. Because I remember... I think I'm just really over-leveled. Because... Um, oh, Helix Fossil, and the Dome Fossil. Honestly, kind of fan of the Dome, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll another die. I'm going to roll a D12 this time. Uh, 1 through 6 is going to be the Dome. 7 through 12 is going to be the, uh, the, uh, Helix. It's a 5! So, we're doing the, really? It's the same thing I rolled last time. That's weird. Anyway, got the Dome Fossil. Alright, so now it's just time to power out of this cave. And I'm free! I'm free! Mega Punch. I wonder. Yeah. Um, goodbye. Probably Defense Curl. Dude. Finally, he has a half decent attack. And then. There's this guy who right here wants to teach me Mega Kick. And I'm going to teach it to Pikachu before anybody asks. Because, um, first of all, dang it, can't learn it. Um, Flump is going to learn enough of his own attacks. Little Bit does not learn a ton of attacks. And definitely not all of them are that great. So, Mega Kick being 120 power. Is really gonna come in handy, um, even though it's kind of inaccurate. Also, guys, I haven't caught a Pokemon on Route Four yet, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can definitely. Uh, I guess I'm committed to it now. I was thinking, I wanted to go heal up first. But. Come on, Deltor. Come on, give me something new. Spiro! Level 10 Spiro, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with, we don't have a Pidgey anymore. Um, so this is actually a pretty good catch, um, because this will kind of balance out the team on the whole lack of flying issue we got going on. Plus, I've always kind of liked Spiro more. He requires a little more, uh, training than a Pidgey does. But, you know, he does, and he doesn't have the whole three evolution thing, but I feel like he's got a lot, he's got a higher attack stat. I just like him. It busily flits, it, it busily flits around here and there. Even if it is frail, it can be a tough foe that uses mirror move. Also, why is this, I don't like it when they give a specific move to a Pokemon that it's like, oh, this is kind of its move. Um, Spiro. 
um f fan fan deer fan deer fan deer the sparrow the sparrow all right cool he's level 10 um oh i was trying to make it out of this grass there's an ekans here you know i'm thinking about it and there's not a lot of pokemon i would ha like in this grass better this spiro because i'm not a big fan i don't i'm also not a huge fan of poison types i feel like they're not uh they don't really live up to potential of most pokemon um so yeah um cool so we're in cerulean city so i'm gonna end this here um so that i can compress everything else into a big video and it'll look good all right so see you guys next time on mitchell's nez mitchell's nuzlocke Bye bye